You are what you eat doesn't just apply to people. It also applies to fish. And that's the idea behind all those color-enhancing foods you see on the market. But how do they actually work? The simple answer is carotenoids. Carotenoids are pigment found in many natural foods. Bettas, like most animals, cannot make carotenoids in their own bodies. They have to eat them. Red and yellow fish will eat carotenoids, store some of these pigments in special color cells called erythrophores and xanthophores, respectively, and use some of the rest for immunity. But here's where it gets really interesting. According to this paper, redfish given extra carotenoids got both brighter coloration and stronger immune responses, as we just said. But bluefish, on the other hand, did not turn red at all. Instead, they used those same carotenoids almost entirely for their immune system. Another paper shows bettas may use multiple pigment systems to make red coloration, including carotenoids like astaxanthin, and that yellow fish come about because they are essentially unable to complete the full red pigment pathway. And this paper shows that red beta color cells actually contain both carotenoids and other red pigments, so carotenoids aren't the only pigment at play for red coloration. But are carotenoids only found in these color-enhancing foods? Luckily, no. They are also found in popular beta foods like brine shrimp, bloodworms, and daphnia. If you're feeding a varied diet, your beta is most likely getting carotenoids. 